weighing in at 285 pounds at 6 foot 5 inches, Michael McGovern! <laughs> weighing in at around uh, 200 pounds, 4 feet 10 inches, the stocker down himself, Carl Davos! Weighing in at 198 pounds, at 6 foot 4 inches, the Russian bear, Alden Kalperovic! <laughs> Newton's first law is inertia, which is resistance by an object to a change in its state of motion. As you can see, this binder is on the blanket and in a state of rest. The binder has enough inertia that the blanket cannot create enough friction to act on it. Basically, objects at rest tend to stay at rest. Coinciding with Newton's first law, the My Little Pony is on top of the pink plane with constant velocity. However, the My Little Pony continues to move when the plane was stopped because an object in motion will stay in motion until an outside force acts on it. We're going back to back here with this pink plane for Newton's second law. The second law states that acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied. For all the math majors out there, force equals mass times acceleration. We will demonstrate the second law by applying an equal amount of force to a 2.5 uh, five pound weight with the pink plane and the pink plane. The pink plane should have a greater acceleration than a 2.5 pound weight on the plane. This greater acceleration by the pink plane can be calculated using force equals mass times acceleration. Newton's third law states for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So as Mike punches the punching bag while sitting in the rocking chair, both Mike and the bag will move because there's an equal force acting on both objects. The action is Mike's fist punching the bag, while the reaction is the bag pushing on Mike. Shout out to my 505 squad, plus Miss Paul Ryan, greatest physics teacher around. Hope you all were enlightened with our Newton's Laws video.